What's going on, everybody? It's Lee Van Dam here, and I'm excited because I just finished uh, my Sunday stream of Ace on Twitch. And with the help of my guildmate, good friend Ward, he was able to help me tune my team to where I can actually beat Gemini Dragon 16, um, or Hell Stage 4 as it's called. Now, I'm at a really low percentage because I've got to work on a few things, but I wanted to go over the team with you anyways because it does work. And maybe that will be able to help you put your team together. And so uh, we're going to do it manually because auto is definitely something I can't do right now. And basically our goal is to get six poisons on Gemini Dragon before, before Santis does her thing. Because if Santis is able to confirm six poisons and turn them into eight poisons that each last three rounds, then Gajar will be able to confirm the kill. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I don't have enough uh, focus on him yet. But he'll be able to confirm the kill one round and that's it. All right, so this is not gonna kill, but it looks good. It looked good. Look, it looked good. So, so I'm gonna go back to 15 where I've got a little bit more leeway as far as resists are concerned and do it. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to have all the poisons hit so that way the second Aaron ultimate will give me enough poisons to confirm the kill because the strategy doesn't change through Dim Gemini Dragon at all. Since Poison's percentage, this strategy works all the way up the chart, which is pretty crazy that you don't have to change your team, you just have to tune them speed-wise. And as long as your speed is uh, above 207, I believe is what Gajar is at, then everybody will go first so they can lay everything out. Here we go, okay. All right, we got the poisons on there. All right, we look good. There is Three no poisons, four like poisons. The ultimate hit the dragon. So we're looking good. Okay, mm. Sansa is gonna do her ultimate, so she's gonna extend all of the poison times by a round. So that's a total of 30 poison stacks, plus the extra ones that Santa's put on there, which is two extra. So we're at 34 poison stacks. The jar hits the ultimate, dragon's done. Have a great day. We died together. That's crazy. When it works, it is so beautiful. But I have to do what all the high level people are doing now. And I got to get the 200% focus. Uh, the speed's where it's, it needs to be. So I don't have to mess with the speed anymore. I just have to make sure the focus is right. So all of the debuffs hit. Because if the debuffs don't hit correctly, then what you'll see happen is you'll see Aaron's second ultimate go to a different monster because it's based on whatever debuff gives Aaron eight rage, it's gonna go to that monster. So if everything works, Aaron goes to the dragon again because the dragon debuffs give him the eight rage he needs to, needs to do his second ultimate. So that is it. That's the fight. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> that I've been able to clear this and I'll be able to farm the rally. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm super stoked to be able to get points and uh, participate. So uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I don't think that this is a secret build. I think a lot of people, players are doing this. So I don't expect this to be revolutionary, but if it does help you for me to explain it a little bit, I, I'm, I'm happy to do so. And so be sure to throw a like on this video, be sure to comment and share it with everybody because the Dragon Rally started today. And so let's run these points up, let's get these rewards and let's continue to show reasons why this Attack on Titan event is the best time to play Ace and the best time to start a new account if you're not playing Ace already. Until next time, this is Lee Van Dam. You guys take care. God bless. Appreciate you.